Hello everyone. In this video, we will explore uh, Twin Education Pack and the modules inside of them. So, Twin consists of electronic modules that can be attached with the help of magnets. It requires no risky process of welding. And we aim to make the science and technology popular and develop the sense of know-how for the public. With doing it, children and teenagers are able to develop the latest technology of robotics and autonomous cars by simple attachments. With the projects we provide, they will be able to develop their own unique projects to provide solutions to world problems. So uh, let's make it short and jump to the twin modules. As you can see, the, these modules are snap circuits and with the help of magnets, in placed inside of the plastic blocks at the two side of PCB, you are able to join modules to each other. So let's explore hands on. So we have a gray module here and one yellow module. And as you can see, as you approach, you can join the modules with the help of magnets. But if you try to connect the modules in reverse direction, you will be able to see that you are not able to connect them because magnets they repel each other this process since it doesn't require any cable or uh, it doesn't require any welding it's perfectly safe safe and children um, start learning about how to join them intuitively because they work very basic so another um, important thing about to be modules with the help of the pins, uh, I will show you here. You, as you can see, there are three pins. Okay, so one of the pins is for uh, energy to go forward, and the other one is come back, and the third one is for signal, which we will explore in other videos. But the good thing is, energy moves in the direction of the arrows that was shown on the PCBs. And when connecting the modules, make sure the arrow point towards the same direction. And so, how you can understand about the uh, right direction? As you can see, each module has an arrow. So, the arrow points this direction. And then we have another module. It points this direction. So, you are able to join them very easily. Or... You can, if you don't see or you, you don't want to show any attention, you can just try both directions and they start working. So why do they come with four different colors? It's because we want children to understand the duty of each color in a very like simple way. So in order to do that, we labeled power modules with gray color. And power modules come first in the circuit and provide energy for the circuit to work so every experiment every circuit in twin with twin kits you need to have at least one power module to make it work and the second one is the input so yellow modules are the input modules and they send signals to the module that comes afterwards so it sends signals basically it controls the modules after the input modules and the Third one is colored red, uh, and the red color represents logic and transmission modules. And these modules allow you to expand and change the direction of your circuits, as well as controlling them. And the fourth one, uh, maybe the, um, the, the most entertaining one for children, are the output modules, and they are colored in blue, because we want to... Uh, they are colored in blue and you can uh, use uh, the sound, you can use um, LED uh, light, um, you can um, basically um, get output from the circuit. So it is the uh, like reaction of the circuit, uh, maybe we can say. So the another good um, feature of the Wim modules is actually uh, they connect with the Lego bricks. So they are compatible with it. 
So you can basically uh, design any home or robot with Lego bricks and by joining the three modules on top of them, you can make them smarter. And let's try one circuit together. So we have a power bank here and we have a USB cable. Uh, just uh, make sure that you have a full power bank. And as you can see, it says uh, five volt and one amp. So it is uh, perfectly compatible with R2 Win modules and I will join USB power module to the power bank and once I turn the switch on I can see the um, green light and once I can I connect it to LED you can see it turns on we have a great output and then I can join it to my Lego brick and even though I turn it they do not fall down so it's pretty good and you can also join lego bricks to the underneath of the lego brick table so both sides of the win modules are compatible uh, with the lego bricks so thank you for watching and see you in the next video